So in the last video, we looked at adding um, an image and starting to edit our image. And we also looked at um, adding um, a text path. So if we go up to that curve text, we can um, curve our text or choose a pattern um, for our text to follow that path. That's why it's called a text path. And we started to look at using the rubber tool, the erase tool to rub out part of the background. But the easiest thing is this cutout studio. Um, and if I just make my brush a little bit bigger, oh, too big. Um, if I select my background, what it does is it's gripping to those edges. So it just helps me uh, rub things out a lot easier. Um, and then if I press OK now, it just helps me rub it out a lot quicker. And what I can actually do is go back into it. I can change my brush size again, this time maybe making it really small. And I can just get those details. Um, and I can just play with it a, a little bit just to get it really quite accurate. And then press OK. So the Cutout Studio is a quick way of deleting parts of your background using the red cut out discard brush the green brush would be if i deleted something and then i decided that i wanted it back um so for instance if i decide right let's get rid of this guardian bit um, and press okay i could go um back into my cutout studio and use this to bring that section uh back Although, because I've pressed OK, I don't think it will work. I'd have to do it before I pressed OK to bring it back. So just be cautious of that. Another tool that you've got um, is actually Auto Trace. And that can turn an image and make it a little bit more like a cartoon. So if I press Auto Trace, I can choose to want it in black and white, a little bit more like a, a logo or a photo. I'm going to go for logo. Because I think that makes it more cartoon effect. I've got all these options at the side that I can play with. I can choose how smooth I want it to be, how um, close to my edges I want it to be. So I can mess with all these little options. When I'm ready, I can just press trace. And give it a moment. And it starts to change that image. Um, I'm not a fan of that one, so I can either reset it, I can go back, I could change my options again, I can retrace it. When I'm ready and I'm happy, I just press accept or I can press cancel and then just discard my changes. I'm going to go back into it again. Uh, let's keep it default settings this time rather than me changing any of the settings let's see if i prefer that i quite like the dog i'm not a big fan of my cat i'm going to accept it and then let's ungroup it and what i'm going to do this time is i'm going to use my mouse just to select part of my cat and I'm just going to then press delete. And I can start to delete part of my cat. I might even use my rubber. That might be the easiest way. And just delete part of my cat. Can you see what I've deleted here? I've actually, I'm on the wrong layer. I've actually deleted uh, part of my background. So what I'm going to do is just undo. Get my black arrow, make sure I'm clicked on the thing that I want to delete. And now it's deleting the right part of the image. So click on the part of the image you want to delete, then get your rubber tool. And at this time I only want to delete that part. And finally, I just need to get rid of that little bit on the spine. It can be quite tedious. It can take quite a while. But when you get it right, you will be um, a lot happier with that. I'm just going to move. I think I've got all these layers. So I'm just going to move.